Hi, my name is Liv, and this is me. I don't think I've been away from my parents this long, ever. It has been really, really good. And, yeah, <laughs> one day, you just need to get out from your parents' home and find your own. But now, I was missing them a little bit. They have bought a new house, they needed my help, and I think they were also missing me a little bit. <laughs> I finally booked my flight again and I'm going home tomorrow. Well, I'm going home tomorrow. I'm still in Spain and Luke is still here with me, so I think he's gonna take me to the airport tomorrow. And then we're gonna say goodbye. This is a goodbye for us, but I guess we'll see each other again when we can. But I'm very, very excited to go home and... <sighs> have a little bit of Swedish summer and also it's a lot going on I'm gonna show you the most Swedish summer ever <laughs> I'll guess I'll see you tomorrow when I'm on my way to the airport oh, wow that sounds so weird to say now I've been in Spain so long <laughs> so I've been in Spain for four months and I haven't seen my parents for four months and that's like a lot for me I think I don't know how long I was gone last time but it wasn't four months I think it was like two or three and the best part <laughs> they don't know I'm coming home <laughs> so we're gonna surprise them my favorite thing to do I'm done talking Okay, now it's 7.59 and we have to leave in one minute, so we are going to leave now. I checked in my bags and I got my boarding pass thing. It's 9.26 now. My flight goes at 10.40. It's still like some time left. I'm trying to like reorganize my things in my bag. The only thing now is that this line is like so long. It's like so many people here. So I have to like stand in the back there. Like last time I was here, last time when I flew to Sweden, there was like no people here. I could go inside in like five minutes, do everything in five minutes. And now it's like so many people, it's so weird to see. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to go inside. Okay, I just got through the security security thing. My bags are checked in. Oh, now I'm just like hiding from everyone because there's like so many people here compared to how it was before. It's crazy. But I guess it's also good that like things are going back to normal. My flight is in one hour. I'm gonna try to like find coffee because I really really want coffee. Maybe something to eat. I'm always hungry. I don't know if I told you this but I'm gonna go to first Denmark from Denmark to Stockholm and then from Stockholm I'm gonna take a train at like 7 and I'm gonna be in my town at like 12 o'clock in the night. Let's find food, coffee, 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 coffee. I just bought the biggest cappuccino in the world. It's the size of my head. Taste test. Ooh, hot. Mucho caliente. Mucho caliente. Muy caliente. Oh my god, it's so hot. Just gonna let it cool down. Walking away. Your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around. Okay, so I'm now in Denmark. I bought one of my favorite energy drinks, and my next flight is in like one hour, so yeah. I just arrived. 
arrived in Stockholm and my father tried to call me. I just wrote to him that I couldn't answer because I didn't have like, I didn't have signal. <laughs> like something like I had bad signal. I don't know if he's gonna believe that, but we'll see. She gets Should I say you may be wondering what I'm doing, but I have like two hours left until my train back to my city So I was thinking like I didn't want to spend it inside So I just walked with my big suitcase all the way to the to like a river here in Stockholm Let me show you around my little spot here. I laid my what is this called? Sweater. I laid my sweater down here. I have some cinnamon buns, of course. We're in Sweden now and they just fell in with a canoe. But I think they get help now, so it's all nice here. But I wish that I put, I wish that I would have put, how do you say it? I wish that I would have put my suitcase in like a, in a locker or something. Because then I could have done so much more, but I don't know if it's like worth it. I'm also so tired, so like, do you want to update on the canoe people? They have gotten the canoe up now. They try to get it down again, I think. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. sister's house uh, the day after and i've been sleeping here and they still don't know that i'm in my city it's a surprising day bitches just kidding sorry oh. <laughs> <laughs> because the fan is on because I'm making some lunch. Today is Sunday, I think. Yeah, and I've been here for like two weeks now or maybe a little bit more, I don't know. It's been really nice. I've been just like hanging out with my family, catching up a little bit. My cousin was here as well and the weather has been really good. Actually, it's been like too good. <laughs> if you see something new, I've also done my hair. I really went too long without doing my hair and my roots were like, so bad. It has been really really nice past two weeks. We have been helping out my parents because they have been moving and now we have a summer house as well and I know that I promised you videos showing a real Swedish summer. The next video is gonna be super super cozy so I try to post once every two weeks sometimes it can be more but make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Very important. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you already. See you in my next one. Now I'm gonna eat like a real Swedish girl. Kormebröd.